Thank you, Boji. Students, uh, if we just talk about the case of relation in field and potential energy, it is a similar situation which electrostatics में आप पढ़ते हैं किसी भी एक point से दूसरे point तक अगर एक particle को लेके जाते हैं तो work done is calculated by in case of gravitational field mass multiplied by potential energy mass multiplied by gravitational field this gives you the total work done which is a change in potential energy so here it says the gravitational field in a region is given by 5 i cap plus 12 g cap so that's a constant gravitational field it is asking the change in gravitational potential energy of a particle of mass 1 kg when it is taken from origin to this point so agar aap yahan dhyan se dekhe to you can carefully visualize the situation this is origin 0,0, 0. This point 7, comma minus 3 is somewhere here. This is 7 meter and here it is 3 meter. This is XY coordinate system. So this is the position which is 7, comma minus 3. So when we grow from go from origin to this point, we know well gravitational field in X direction is 5 Newton per kilogram and in Y direction it will be in upward direction which is 12 Newton per kilogram and we know in the direction of gravitational field, gravitational potential has to decrease because potential field ki direction mein hamesha kam hota hai. So, agar O se hum is point tak jata hai, which can be named as A. So, we can directly write work done in growing, going uh, uh, from point O to A considering unit mass because potential energy upon ko calculate karna, it is the unit mass work done. So, that you can check along the x direction it is moving by a distance of 7 meter. So, in that situation work done will be 5 multiplied by 7 and if we go from point this to this or from origin to this in y direction so it will be minus because field ke opposite ja rahe hai. So, in this situation it will be 12 multiplied by minus 3 so that will be minus 36 in this situation. So, yahan se jab aap yahan pe jayenge to potential is going to increase. How much amount it will increase? That will be minus 12 multiplied by 3. So, this comes out to be minus 1 joule. In this case, yahan se O se A tak jate hai, aap to total potential energy will increase by minus 1 joule. Yahan pe change in potential energy calculate karna hai, to delta U magnitude can be simply written as 1 joule. That is the answer for this question. Thank you, Poji. Students, this is a base level question for calculation of gravitational field due to a sphere. Situations uh, are changed, but ultimately the concept remains same ki kisi bhi spherical region ki se gravitational field expression remains same. Have a look on this. It says a solid sphere of mass m and radius a is surrounded by a uniform concentric spherical shell of thickness 2a and mass 2m. So, we need to calculate the gravitational field at a distance 3a from the center. So, here in this situation, हमारे पास एक सॉलिड स्फीयर है व्हिच इज ऑफ मास m एंड रेडियस a इट इज सराउंडेड बाय अनदर यूनिफॉर्म स्फेरिकल शेल और जो इसके बाहर कंसेंट्रिक शेल है दिस इज ऑफ रेडियस 2a एंड इनर रेडियस a and its mass is given to us as 2m. But काम की बात समझने की है कि इस पूरी region में mass uniformly distributed है radial direction में. So in that case बाहर किसी भी point पे अगर हम देखें which is given at a distance of 3a, if there is a point P then this point P pe gravitational field GP can be given as G total mass is 3m divided by distance square is x square or you can write it G 3m by 3a ka whole square. Why it is so? Because sara ka sara mass jo bhi uniformly radially distributed hota hai for outer point P we can consider it is located or it is concentrated at its center. So bahar jitna bhi mass uniformly radially distributed hai we consider the whole mass 3m m a radius tak hai aur 2 m a se 2 a tak hai. Still, kyunki ye uniformly radial distribution hai, to isko bhi hum center pe concentrated maanenge, to outer point ke liye net gravitational field is due to the mass 3 m at center. So, gravitational field at point P is given as g m by 3 a square. That's the result for this question. Thank you, Poji. Students, here pe gravitational force we are going to calculate because of a rod of variable mass. In this situation, it says a straight rod of length L extends from point x equal to a to x equal to L plus a. It says the gravitational force exerted on a point mass m located at x equals to 0. If the mass parent length of rod is this is given by, so if we draw the situation, draw karein, it is like this. This is the rod extending from x equals to a to x equals to l plus a, l will be the length of this rod. Origin pe we have placed the mass m 
and we want to calculate the force between this mass and this rod whereas the mass per unit length of the rod for this rod its lambda is given as a plus b x square kg per meter so in this situation agar rod extended hai to is mass m se at a distance x within this rod we consider an element of width dx yahan dx width ka ek chhota sa element consider karenge the mass of this element can be given as dm and this dm is given by lambda dx because if lambda is mass per unit length then for the width dx the mass will be lambda dx so if we calculate force on dm due to m or the gravitational force between m and dm this can be given as df acting on it in leftward direction because this would be attracting this element so df is given as g m dm divided by x square if we substitute the value of dm this gm by x square multiplied by this lambda dx is a plus b x square dx now net force between m and rod so this f has to be df has to be integrated from the limits from a to l plus a so net force is given by integration of gm here it is a by x square plus b times dx limits from a to a plus l this is what we are going to use when we integrate this it gives gm here it is minus a by x plus bx limits from zero uh, limits from a to a plus l so further it gives gm and when we put the limits from a plus l to a then with minus sign it is a 1 by a minus 1 by a plus l plus it is a plus l minus a will be b l so this is what we are getting as the result of this net force acting between mass m and the rod only due to the gravitational interaction this would be the force acting between the two थैंक यू पोजी स्टूडेंट्स जब हम बात करते हैं किसी भी सरफेस से किसी भी प्लेनेट की सरफेस से एक बॉडी को एस्केप कराना है तो वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड दैट मच अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी सो दैट इट्स फाइनल एनर्जी द बॉडी इज फाइनल एनर्जी शुड बिकम जीरो सो हियर इट इज द सेम केस विच इज फॉर अ रॉकेट लॉन्चर फ्रॉम अ मून एक क्वेश्चन पूछा गया था और इस तरह के बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन पूछे जा सकते हैं इट्स इज द रॉकेट हैज टू बी लॉन्च फ्रॉम अर्थ एंड सच ए वे दैट इट नेवर रिटर्न If E is the minimum energy delivered by the rocket launcher, what should be the minimum energy that the launcher should have if the same rocket is to be launched from the surface of Moon? So, first we will talk about Earth. Ki. So, here in situation from Earth surface, we can directly write from Earth surface the energy E should be such that total energy of the body should become zero. For Earth, ke upar gravitational potential energy is minus g m one m two by r, so it should be g m of Earth multiplied by mass of body divided by the radius of Earth. This should be the value of E, and from moon surface, जब check किया जाएगा, तो moon surface के लिए this E dash can be written as G mass of moon multiplied by m divided by r of moon. That's what we are going to use. यहाँ पे r is the radius of earth. Question also says that the density of earth and moon are equal, and earth's volume is 64 times the volume of moon. So if volume of earth is equals to 64 times the volume of moon, so we can directly write radius of earth is equals to four times the radius of moon because 64 is four cube. Now in this situation, volume also signifies the mass of earth is equals to 64 times the mass of moon because density is same. So volume relation will remain same for the mass relation. यहाँ पे अगर हम चेक करें तो यहाँ पे e dash का वैल्यू हमारे पास आ जाता है g mass of moon you can write as mass of earth divided by 64 multiplied by m divided by radius of moon is re by 4 so this gives g m e m divided by 16 times re or it is e by 16 that is the result of this problem